Um, all right, let's do one more, one last thing. Oh, I would love to, see, to go through yes, this. Yes, we have to revisit this. I would it's love so, to. It's so important to just... It's the, important to me. The lore of the show, it's important to Brian Corpolongo. It's important. It's, I hold it dear to my heart. Greg is just like off in his own world. I don't know what he's doing there. Cleaning my lenses. Okay, good. You don't need to do that. Clean lens. Um, a long time ago on the show, and I, I think if you search for Gail Channa... We on Google up. or YouTube, we're one of the first things to come up because um, the infamous segment we did on the show, I entitled, No, Bubba Didn't Poop Into Hugh Jackman's Mouth, <laughs> 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 which is what I label the segment that we did on, on Gail Channing. No, if you, do, Bubba if didn't you did poop. not hear this episode, I suggest you go to RecklessMediaRadio.com and look up Gail Channa or some, ask for it. Somebody will tell you what episode this happens on. It, it's must listen uh, to folklore again? at this point of Reckless Media Radio. Uh, Gail Channa, if you do not know, she is a crazy fucking woman. She's the craziest person in the world. She's a crazy YouTuber. And who are some of the... Who are some of the people that she said that she... Famous people that she Hugh said Jack- she was yeah, married, yeah, yeah. married want- with... And who's her enemy? The Jesuits. The Jesuits. It, and start quote, Terence. if you love Gail like I do, you should purchase a copy of her amazing book at Amazon.com. End quotes. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. That's, a quote, <laughs> that's a quote from Jesus Christ right there on her YouTube he channel. He bought her book on Amazon. <laughs> now, look up... Okay, her, her, her name on YouTube, because you to understand what we're talking about, you have to see a few of these videos. Um, it's YouTube.com slash Gabriel Channa one G A B R I E L L E C H A N A. She likes to talk about bukkake bombs. Bukkake bombs. And she lives in this fantasy. She obviously has the most severe um, fan fiction reality of all time, which is Seven. in medical terms called. Uh, what's the word? Uh, schizophrenic. Schizophrenic. She's a schizophrenic. She's very, very schizophrenic. She's the most schizophrenic person on YouTube. She is the ultimate schizophrenic. Um, And she thinks that the Jesuits are raping her husbands, which uh, consists of Hugh Jackman. um, Terrence Jenkins. Terrence Jenkins. Wasn't he from Star Trek? No, he was like some black actor from something. And his name's Terrence. Terrence. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Uh, A bunch of other famous people. Anyway. She's fucking nuts, though. Yeah, who are these? Here, you know what? Let's let's play a, a split second of this, 30 seconds of this, just to give you an idea of what we're talking about here. This is her dancing around in a bikini. Okay, I am on a diet right now because I've gained... I actually... this I weigh about 138 pounds in this picture. Maybe this isn't the best example. What she, is the what? She just said she I, I think 138 pounds. Wait, 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 we're not there yet. I, I think that the children's book video does it justice of how crazy she is, doesn't it? I want to get an, a good idea of what she's about before I play this this video for you. Okay, here's here's her top rated video, posted three years ago. Here we go. Let's see what she talks about. Hello. Real quick. I'm having fun with my new new um. Logitech Webcam Pro 9000. <laughs> Logitech. And my name is Gail Cord Schuler. And this is my apartment where I live. It's a mess. <laughs> so I decided. At this point, she just sounds like an old, lonely old woman. Yeah. yeah. Or it's very a, sad. But it, this background is actually more interesting than me sitting on my bed. So. Uh, no, just, it ain't. <laughs> I'm having fun with this uh, YouTube video here. This is my book, Silver Skies, that I um, guarantee you that is not her book. No, she saw reading that book. <laughs> that I wrote. I was going to read from it, but I changed my mind. I just think it's boring, and I'm not going to read. Uh, I'm just going the to introduce boring. myself. I'm the she's selling herself. She's, she's a salesman. Uh, dot com. This back here, this exercise machine, is what I work out on when I don't do it as often as I should. Let's fast forward to the Jesuits and the jizz. I um. I'm not sure I can figure out how to download this to YouTube, but I um, I might walk around a bit. Oh, God. I'm afraid so, of what she's going to do. Deeper in the world. But this is my little machine here. My- 
I'm just gonna introduce okay, myself. This, yeah. this may be her first video ever. Okay, anyway, she's a fucking nut. She's a crazy person. She really comes on here and she starts talking about, um, like, there's a bomb, there's a new cocky. Yeah, there's a new cocky. A new cocky thing that was, dro was dropped on Canada. And covered and just flooded the streets of Canada with I jizz. I know who her, her guys were. There was like seven of yeah. them. Yeah. Oh, Vladimir Putin was one of them. Yeah, Putin was one. I remember, I always remember Terrence Jenkins. Wait, wait. Gabriel Chana's Academy Award and Nobel Prize acceptance speech. For years now, the people at the Academy Awards and the Nobel Prize Committee have tried to give me three awards. Won oh. the Academy Award for the best picture ever made. Two, the That's Nobel the Prize in Medicine for the most significant contributions made in medicine in a century. And what? Three, the That's Nobel Prize award. in Literature for the most significant contributions made in literature in the past century. Perhaps because my contributions are so significant, they've been unable to give me my prizes. You see, because of my contributions, I've held back the richest and most powerful organization in the world. Okay, the Jesuits. The Jesuits. The Jesuit order yep. of the Roman Catholic Church. <laughs> Unfortunately, if I am given all my awards, like most Nobel Prize winners or Academy Award winners get their awards, I may not be alive. Wait, wait, wait. wait. There's a video just, if I heard it. There's a 51-minute video, video just labeled yeast and <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to attempt to do the impossible, and that is explain my yeast infection oh. to the general public. <laughs> That's how she should start everything she's about to say. Oh. I'm about to do the impossible and explain <laughs> a 51, new cocky. A 51-minute explanation of her oh. yeast infection. <laughs> I cannot do this subject justice in a 45-minute video, but I'm going to try. Uh, first, I want to talk about music. I believe that my men have started a radio station for Church of Gale Music, and I produce the music. I oh, send God. my favorites to Brent Spiner. And oh, then, Brent Spiner. Uh, I believe yeah. that music reveals who we are. Jesuit musical taste is proud, arrogant, driven with fanatical emotions, and it's demon-possessed. And you can get an example of that um, if you listen to Lori McBride's um, video at Order of the Jesuits YouTube. You can hear the music. It's it's just like I described. My music is all love excelling. Grandy okay, we can't watch the whole thing. That has nothing to fun. do with can her. We, can we just watch the new video we're going to talk about? Not yet. Oh, my God. Oh, can we please? I've watched these over and over again. Yeah, I've watched like her talk about being nuts. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, man. All right. No. I'm taking my headphones off. No, don't off. do that. I'm okay. not listening to her anymore. Be professional. She's a nutcase. I don't want to hear her anymore. And you think you're going to be a lawyer? Drink. Don't ask questions. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, this is something that Jesuits are trying to label me with. I'm not get on anything. And we've made hey, some no, no, uh, hey, hey, computer under there. No, it didn't touch that. The really computer's right under that hole. But first of all, let me tell you how we got onto Wait. this. Uh, I got a, a spill. phone call from my son. He left a message on my That's cell phone's answering gets. machine. I picked it up, and he he had this Greg, you were judgmental, right. strange <laughs> tone, which Damn. I... Which did not seem like him at all. And he said, you know, he said, he said, Mom, I really need to talk to you. And he was concerned <sighs> that okay. I believed that he had This is this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, is that leaking through onto the computer? Yeah, it is. It's, it's dripping on the Here, let me see that. Let me see that. Let me see. It's on the wires. It is. Here, let me see. Got it. You got it? You got it? No. Who, 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 Greg? You got to go underneath. Here. We need to stop the recording. No, no, right? It, it's out no. Of I will talk. I don't. Do you think this is the first fine. time that there's been liquids on electrical oh wires? This, in this is studio? the first time I've ever spilled. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. I think it is. You know what? Let's go until it shorts out. <laughs> there's lube. There's lube down there. Well, that's for me having sex with myself. Okay, I think we're all right. Let's go, Greg. You were right. Let's go into, let's go into uh, what we were talking about. <laughs> Everything still works. Everything's recording. Yeah, everything's I think so. Hello. Broke Wait, I'm having fun with my lube. Lube, lube. <laughs> lube. Okay. That's mine. We're out on that one. Okay. Anyway, this crazy fucking woman. I hope you enjoyed your drink. Seriously, the, none of that did her justice. Go back and listen to the episode that we cover her in. Um, the whole point of this being brought up is she now has child 
She now has a children's book. Which out, is going to be beautiful. Apparently. I'm absolutely for, wonderful. Which there's no point in buying it because she has the entire book here on her YouTube channel. Which is fine with me. <laughs> it's fine with me. But uh, sometimes you listen to something and you want to support it. So you might want to go buy it after. She um, is so successful with this book. The audio book, she actually paid somebody else to read. This is not her reading her own children. Is it like book. a good voice? And no, not at all. Oh, of course not. You think a crazy psychotic woman on YouTube? No, of course not. A good vo- no, like um, mine. And she also has it like uh, illustrated. Let's watch this real quick. This is part one of eight of the Forbidden Abyss. How is that a children's book? The children's Gail Chana's children book. As he drove his car underneath the Paramount Pictures' cream and gold arches and into the studio parking lot, he felt his pulse rate quicken. He even now disliked the Spanish tile roofs of the studio because it reminded him that Gale was far away in Seattle, surrounded by evergreen mountains and cool, crisp air. And okay, okay, that's right, right off the bat. I this guess. is not a children's book. This sounds more like a, a like one of those dirty, no, a dirty novel, a fanfic. Uh, My kind of book. Greg's kind of book. My kind of book. <laughs> I think children's books are like one sentence at a time. There's one sentence per page, maybe. I think you're cut off, Brian Corpolongo. Why? She had never been here in the Southern California sun with him making love to him. Wait! Did you hear that? Yes, I did. This is for ch- children. Let's run that back. But kids need to understand sex. They do. Maybe this is the way to do it. Yeah. By evergreen mountains and cool, crisp air. And she had never been here in the Southern California sun with him making love to him. <laughs> he looked about and saw no sign of Lori. Once he parked his car, he phoned his friend and co-star LeVar Burton from inside his car. LeVar Burton's LeVar one. Burton's another one. What's going on with you and Lord? And uh, again, there's, there's no setup of characters. She just goes straight into sex with these random people. Which is awesome thinks, with me. Yeah. I like it. It's my kind of butt. I like her Brent crayon drawings. Phone for at least a minute. Give me time to get myself together. Hey, what I'm about to tell you remains top secret, all right? Sure, LeVar paused, as if brazing for the worst. Hey, I don't like Lori. Something's not right about her. LeVar, it's horrible. I was in the green room, you know, where we got to prepare before a shoot. Patrick Stewart got me a beer. This is like a bad episode of You Can't Do That on Television. This is, this is so good. What are you talking it about? for just a second, and that's when Lori spiked it with some mind control drugs. Nice. I wasn't feeling well after I drank the spiked drink, so I went to lay down. That's when I started having a vivid dream about making love to Gail. <laughs> My God, Brent. There are mirrors all over the place in that room. Yeah, so we can see ourselves as we rehearse between shoots. But I saw I myself being raped by ridiculous drawings. Ridiculous. The drawings are just like there's this. Bam, one. Wait, who did she see herself being raped by? Hang, I'm. Wait, listening. wait, did she say? Yeah, rewind a little okay. bit and let's 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 listen. I'm I'm listening to this story. Okay. Between shoots, but I saw myself being raped by Lori and <laughs> mirrors from all these different angles. Brent wailed and couldn't stop. Wait. How did Lori? <laughs> Look at that chin. Well, chin. I was feeling ill, so I went to lay down. I started having a dream about Gail when Lori walked in. The dog is nice. That's one page of a children's book. Oh, we have to get to that. I forgot about that. Let's get out. Let's do this. I want to listen to this. Yeah. So hazy, I thought it was Gail. It was the mind control drugs. Brent wailed so much he couldn't talk. All right, Brent, whenever you're ready. Hey, let's talk about this at my place, okay? After work, come on over to my I want the after show to just be all three of us with just muted mics listening to this and masturbating. I want my life to be that. Uh, we can make that happen. <laughs> that evening, LeVar held Brent in his arms and rocked Brent from behind while Brent told LeVar his story. He's in like a spaceship bed. <laughs> LeVar they're Burton. Le- they're apparently children. LeVar Burton sleeps in a spaceship bed. <laughs> with awesome. Is that a tail? No, it's his hat. Brent sniffed and cried. LeVar, I can't tell you. This just can't be real. Calm down. I'm holding you in my arms. I believe you, Brent. I believe everything you're saying, and I know you love Gail. LeVar checked out Brent's rear. Was oh, my God! An- okay, oh hang on. God. It just, oh, it just The artwork is beautiful. <laughs> it just Whoa. switched to a picture of a, a, a mangled dr- ass. A drawn, spread apart asshole that has bruises on it, a band aid, and just a puckered up butthole right in the, the center. The band aid is to heal that butthole. Oozing and stitches everywhere. We ooze? Wow. Wait, what was oozing? <laughs> Flesh, bleeding and oozing, and stitches everywhere. Wow, how did Lori do this to you? My vision was so hazy. I thought Gail and I were making love. It was the mind control drugs. That's when Lori climbed on me and started raping me. What did she do, Brent? She got on top of me, yeah. And she was doing me on top. 
Brent, you have such a long penis. Nice. How in the world? Yeah, and the weird thing is, she was able to sit all the way down on it. All 18.25 inches. It was pretty freaky. <laughs> was that the only sex you had with her? No. We did it all three so. holes. Vaginally, orally, and anal. It was really horrible. <laughs> How long did it last? <laughs> After about 20 minutes, I ejaculated, and she got off. What was that? Wait, 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 wait. Then she the pause. There was a long pause, yeah. and he didn't even answer the question. <laughs> He said he had for 20 minutes. Wait. 20 minutes, I ejaculated, and she got off and then sucked my penis. Then she and got sucked my penis. Sucked back my on penis, top of Brian. me, and this time she sat on it again, but she put it in her anus. It was all three. Did you think you were doing all three holes with Gail? <clears throat> no, I just thought Gail and I were doing it vaginally. It was so weird, because I was thinking Gail and I were in the missionary oh. position the whole time. Regular oh, sex. This is the best children's If you thought it was regular ever. sex, how do you know you did all three holes? Oh. Because the memories came flooding back to me after the drug started to wear off. That's nice. awful, Brent. Greg's <laughs> really digging this. This is like Oculus Rift Exactly game. how long did your sex with Lori last? I'm unsure, since I was drugged out pretty bad, but it had to be at least a few hours. Didn't he already answer this? Yeah, he did. <laughs> the book's really well written. I in bed with me. I kicked Plot out, hole. I what ghost happened. wrote this book. That's when I started to remember. Brent wailed and his body heaved. LeVar tightened his grip on the forlorn soul who was grasping at straws just to keep his sanity. Don't you think you ought to tell Gail about this? Brent's face became ashen. No, ashen? don't tell her the- Who's Lori? How does a face Lori McBride, ashen? she's the Jesuit leader. Oh, is it? Yes. Greg knows the backstory. He read the first three books. <laughs> yeah, I read that. paid attention <laughs> for the last yeah. 15 minutes. Promise me. Really? It's too dangerous to tell her. Not as long as Lori still roams about Paramount Studios. Lori keeps threatening to kill Gail if I tell her. After what she's done to me, she's capable of anything. <laughs> You're thrust right in the center of a, the storyline. I don't like any. That was beautiful. Greg I can't wait really for the sequel. Really likes this. If this is seriously, if this is available on Amazon, somebody buy this for us. I swear to God, there's no, there is no possible way this it's is available like on she's Amazon. She's gonna get sued by them. <laughs> what is, what is this called? It's fan fiction. Part one of eight. The, the for, Oh, yeah. There's much more. The Forbidden Abyss. Hang on. Let me go on Amazon real quick. I have to know. If, I would if love to thing. know if this is real. Uh, The Forbidden Abyss. Nice. There's going to be so many books called that. It's just not going to be about that guy's butthole. <laughs> you don't want to know about Brent Spiner's butthole? The Forbidden Abyss. <laughs> oh, my God. But Wait. Go, there you go. 950. No. Wait. We're back. That's a, it's a, it, oh my God. It's got, it's got positive, one positive review. Let's read it. <laughs> Let's read the oh, review. We gotta hang, read on, the review. hang on. It's gonna... I have to put this out there. Anybody listening to this podcast, to please this broadcast this right book. now, if you can send anything to our P.O. box, please order us the Gail forbidden Channa's abyss. The Forbidden Abyss oh, off of Amazon. I'll read it. I'll read it too. I want to do a special episode. I'll read it live. Okay, okay. Show. We take perfect. Turns reading it out loud. Yes. And then we'd make drawings to reenact it. How, no, no, I just however, it has to work. This there, it has I will to be literally a, practice a Gale, reading it. A so Gail Channa act. episode. Greg, we'll I want it. you to read it. Wait, no, wait. Did you just say you're going to act it out? I'll act it out. I'll can, make voices. Can we write it into a screenplay <laughs> and act it out? <laughs> no. No. Oh my god, we'll print out. You can be one one person. I'll be one person. That'd be perfect. I'd I'll love be to three people. You can be none. You're not. You're terrible at reading. I'll be a nun. Please. Brian, you're not good at reading. I'm going to be you a nun. You are actually the worst person at reading. I Try me. No, I don't want to. No, it. no. Toys and read, games. Read, 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 read Toys and Games. <laughs> you click the review. Kindle store. Re click Memoirs. the review. Click the review. Click the review. Okay. She's got a bunch of books, though, on there, I bet. See the Let's review. read the review. It's got to be by her. It's no one Jesus has bought this sure. book yet. I've only just ordered my first copy of Gail Cords. Yeah, that's, Is that's that her, her name. real name. Yeah, that's her name. Gail Cords, long awaited new masterwork, and do not expect to receive. To receive it for several more days. <laughs> However, having read all of Ga Gail's previous published writings, oh, okay, you're right. I'm. <laughs> you're not. Let, no, you should have seen me last week. I was on fire. No, oh, you were here. Uh, yeah, we were all. <laughs> <laughs> I was a reader and a half. You should have seen me. I was a reader. I was on uh, reading Rainbow. <laughs> like Lavar Burton. Yeah. Just take a look. It's in a book. It's reading Rainbow. rainbow. It's reading Rainbow. rainbow. Don't weird it. Don't weird it. You're weirding it. Don't be 
weird. I'm being that black man. Don't black us. Don't black us. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Anyway, somebody seriously buy us please that buy fucking us book. That please, book. please, please buy us that book. Does she have other? Is this? I hope not. Click, yeah, you, oh, okay. oh, oh my God. She does have other books. Holy Go shit. Go down. Wait, wait. Nine results. Greg, read this. Here's, no, I'm not reading it. Whole, okay, I'll do it. I want to hear you read it. <laughs> the story in Brent Spiner's CD, Dreamland, comes to life in Gail's book, The Forbidden Abyss, Part 1. Gar- Gabriel Channa, or Gail Cord, Schuler has a BS degree. <laughs> what? Bachelor's, Bachelor's of Science. Science. Oh, <laughs> Okay, I didn't. I never heard it put that way. No, I want to see her give the speech for the graduating students. Wait, wait, wait! I wanted to be the keynote. Where does speaker it say that? At Florida State, a BS no, degree I, in health education from Florida champions. State University, where she graduated with honors in 1979. She has a second bachelor's degree keynotes. in 1983 okay. from a private Baptist university, uh, Baptist University of America, where she studied she studied missions and education. What is mission? Is her like- maiden name, Cord? She got married. Oh, I know. That's Whoa. why her last name is Channa. Which I forgot to mention. There, were, there was a few months back, somebody sent me something that she had killed her husband. And I don't know if it's that true. That seems about right. But I'm guessing not, because she just wrote this book, and she's not coming out with new YouTube videos. I wonder if her husband's hot. Probably real hot. Nice. Oh, God. He's like a you think he gets jealous? He's animal. Her maiden <laughs> <laughs> Of all of those husbands? Yeah. Uh, her maiden name is Cord, is the same last name as Cord from The Carpen- Carpetbaggers. What? what? A movie about her great uncle Howard Hughes. She's not related no, to Howard Hughes. There's no way. Her father, a retired airline captain, is a pilot like his uncle Howard Hughes. Her mother, a beauty pageant winner, worked as a model. The Gabriel Chan of Fox News Channel not available in Florida, has covered her life every day since February right. 2012. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, she's insane. Okay, and now there's here's all of her products on Amazon. There's a book called Silver Skies, Parts 1 and 2, Bible Prophecy Love Story. That's probably... Pro- wait, 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 wait. Look at the prices here. New, you can get it for ten seventeen. Used, it's $999.11. <laughs> what? I did not fart. Because I did. Come on, dude. I did. We're for once. I imagine fart. your butt being bruised and have a... Band-Aid. Yeah. Off to the left. Silver Skies Part 1, Silver Skies Part 2 of Used 2. Used for $1,000. <laughs> oh, my God. This is expensive shit. Uh, the Forbidden Abyss Part 1, That's 1990 what to 2011. Yeah. What? Uh, lol. L A L. Star Trek Teleplay for Brent Spiner by Gil Cord. What the fuck are we looking at? The Forbidden Abyss, Part 1, 1990 2011. You can get that bottom one, Brent Spiner's Flames, on Kindle <laughs> for $1.50. I love that. It's $1.50. Somebody buy us that. Seriously. I will read <laughs> the entire Kindle, thing. Only on Kindle, it's $1.50. Wait, 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 wait. Kindle. I'll go Hang on. Buy it. There's four reviews, and it has two stars, so there has to be some real reviews in this. Totally seriously deranged. How could Amazon carry this? <laughs> How could Amazon carry the obviously deranged fantasy ranting of this person on their site? I was literally, honestly, dumbfounded when I came across this. She needs some serious mental health. As a fan of Brett Spiner, I am outraged for him that this crap is number one, actually published, and number two, carried on Amazon's site. (laughs) Holy shit. How has she not gotten ceased to Greg, read this. You had to be asked to read. The most insane human being I've ever seen on YouTube so far. I could not even begin to describe the level of insanity that falls out of this woman's mouth. She truly seems to be living these delusions. She also seems to be like a psych psyop. A psyop? Is that what that is? What is a psyop? It's a psyop. A psychox. A psychox. A psychox. An utter and complete mind rape. Devoid any two sentences that could put, uh, that could be put together to make a uh, irony. <laughs> Devoid any two sentences irony. that could be put together to make any sense at all. Uh, here's oh Greg, this no, one's all you. I'm not I'm not reading it. Why anymore. is this available on Amazon? Here, I'll make it bigger for you. 
I don't want to read that whole see, I paragraph. Can't see everything. I don't want to read that. Brian. Whole... Yeah, it's your no, turn. there's a lot of stuff in my way. Like I can't Just see. Lean over, bro. Ha! <laughs> Holy shit! Lean over, bro. Craig's been working out so hard. <laughs> I have to say I'm extremely surprised by the fact that Amazon is selling anything written by this person. <laughs> I've chosen to never watch any of the videos she posts on YouTube, but I was under the assumption that it's been well established by now that she's a very disturbed individual. I may be wrong, but I believe I've heard about Brent Spiner having a restraining order out <laughs> yeah, against that's her. that's true. And I know for certain I've heard him talk about how he feels sorry for her and hopes she has people in her life who are trying to help her. He said this at a Star Trek convention when someone else in the crowd asked if he was aware of the video she posts. He also made similar comments about feeling bad for her when someone brought up the subject during a Reddit AMA. Brent did last August, which can be found somewhere in here. Come on, bro. I really wish someone from Amazon would look at these comments people post once in a while so they'll realize it's inappropriate for them to be selling things like this. I don't know if Mr. Spiner could bring up a lawsuit against this woman for using his name, trying to sell these books as nonfiction, but I'm sure he would choose no to do, uh, not to do so because he feels bad for her and understands that she is not well. The guy clearly spelled something wrong. Now... I want the entire Gail Chana collection. This is very important to I me, and I think everybody Gale on the Chana show. Library. Can we all agree on this, that we need to have all of these books? Yes. Put your hands up. What? Let's start a Gail Chana book club. Okay. Uh-huh. On three. Yes, two, Gail One, two, Chana. Gail. <laughs> Fuck you. Hey, you're out of the book club. I don't want to be in the book club. <laughs> all right. Uh, anyway, I, somebody I, hey, please hey, buy Hey, 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 hey. I'm also leaving the book club. All right. Well, I'm having my book club. You guys can join me whenever you no, want. No, we're cool, man. Yeah, All we're right. Cool. I'm also leaving the right book on. club. Buy me Gail Chana's books. I'm just happy you're reading. Yeah, wow. you're you're doing big words. I've been practicing big boys. Yeah. You've been practicing on big boys. Anyway, we really need this. Um, go to RecklessMediaRadio.com and <laughs> click, Anyways, we really need this. Click, click con- contact, and you can see our uh, P.O. box that you can send shit to. 